Hello, this is Hockey Devine, and today we are going to r slash trends 2. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Hmm, hang on. Hmm. Now, let's get right into this. This character has to be non-binary. Since you've been a good girl, I think I'll give you something I've been keeping. Hmm, interesting. Oh, the other straight version. This is a straight version of a thing. I don't deserve you. You should be with a real man. I already am. Oh. Okay, we can resume. I started watching a new gag anime and has a canonically non-binary person. I like looking at the comments of the anime to see what the community thinks and their big episode just came out. There's so much trans slash envy phobia in the comments section. No one is even talking about the sick as fuck episode. Any positive feelings the episode gave me vanished and now I just feel like shit. Worse. According to Map Pack, Girl Mode is now canon to Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's, I know how the movie trilogy ends. Girl Mode! Does he know? I mean, does he? Whew. Whenever someone new asks for my name, do I give them my dead name? Do I give them my chosen name? Or do I give them a gender neutral nickname? This isn't even a choice for me, I just give them my chosen name. Since many of you asked for this right version, I don't deserve you. You should be with a real woman. I already am. Wanting to look like a boy, wanting to look like a girl, my non-binary ass. POV, your trans mask, and use and you see you user slash lunar fox. Oh no! I have to pause the. I have to pause it again. Girls after being themselves. I mean, to separate it, also question where that sort of dress types of what they're wearing. I mean, the dress names. Oh, what they're wearing in this in the transform communication? No clue. But I do ooh, communicate with my friends like this. Yeah. Meow, meow, <laughs> And always the call in three. Hope he is about to come out to their parents in five hours. Wish them luck. This is actually a lot nicer than I feared. I don't even have to pay attention to my voice, and these cubicles are surprisingly private. I wonder if... Hey, are you going to... 
with pride this year? It's next week, right? Yeah, by the town, downtown library. I don't know, it was pretty lame when I went last year. It's pretty typical for Salt Lake. I guess I'm so used to California Pride Aid stuff. Oh man, I've always wanted to go to San Francisco for it. You definitely should, it's super fun. I'm out there. The one here is, um, it was more of a street fair. I still probably go though. They haven't really got much local community. Even with everyone working here. What days are you thinking? Oh, just Friday. It's my better day off. Cool, maybe I'll see you there. Right. I wonder if I should go. <sighs> Someone comes out as trans. Both supportive parents and transphobic parents. I don't have a son anymore. Yeah, but uh, you'll notice that the transphobic parents' arms are super weak because they are pathetic. Love that. That attaches to detail. Gosh, it's so boring there. Me, in the men's clothing section in, in stores. Always bored, yep. That's a girl who thinks Morgenstern by Ramstein is a trans allegory. Huh, I had no idea. And this is the template, okay. <sighs> okay, so I've just finished watching Nimona. By the way, spoilers in case you haven't watched it. Is it bad that I relate to her so much? And I kinda experienced gender envy from her? The such scene was how I felt back in December and January, and having friends who were there for me. I don't know what to say right now. I almost cried during the statue scene and the scene where she died. Trans girls? Nah. X-Men! Let's go! <laughs> Me? Any trans person, a non-binary person? Is this the best person ever? Love that little title. You are all amazing. Actually, you know what? That's so positive. I should end the video right, right there. Now we have to move on. Clothing brands, when they see how fast I destroy my pants with my thighs now. Fat thighs go burr. <laughs> One of the reasons that I... <sighs> Don't wear shorts. Oh... My uni administration. My dead name's still on lists after I'm out for over a year. How cruel. Gonna bonk your university, OP. Okay. The cis male urge to want to be a cute squid girl. The urge is strong in all of us.
Anyway, that was r slash trans 2. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!